take my hand and together we will ride on the wings of love up and above the clouds the only way to fly is on the wings of love on the wings of love only the two of us together fly I started playing drums and singing in my hometown of Providence when I was 15 years old. I got my first big break with OJs. They came through my hometown, they were playing in this nightclub, and I used to have my local band, we played in the club. So the club owner said, come on up and check out the OJs. And I'm like, what the OJs, oh my God. So I go up to see them that night, and the night I go to see them, they had a drummer who was partaking in one of those substances. So in between songs, he was actually nodding out. I got a chance to meet Eddie, ended the show, club owner said, come on back. So I meet Eddie, I said, Eddie, man, what's going on with this drummer? He said, yeah, we need a little help. And I said, well, you know, I know a few guys in town, if you let me audition, I'll bring a couple of other drummers up. So he said, okay. I brought a few drummers up the next day. We all auditioned and I ended up getting a job. I was 15 years old. I got to play for two weeks in a nightclub with the OJs. And my mom was like, don't you think about leaving town? But that was like all the inspiration and motivation I needed. I joined them in 1970. We didn't get our recording deal until 1972. In 1975, with LTD, we had a love ballad, was the big hit. I'm not sure if Stranger was even a single. But la, 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 la. Oh my God, that lick got ripped off by so many people. Was it right of a stranger? There was nobody to care after me. So that's like a two bar phrase. There's that law, it's that seven bars. They can, they can steal your music up to seven bars. If they cross into the eight bars, then they gotta pay. I, st I still do Stranger, almost every night. The big tour back in the day was LTD and the Commodores. We probably did three summers of touring with the Commodores. We went toe to toe back in the day. But it was always a friendly, healthy, you know, competition. The world is filled with all the lonely people trying to find their way. All they need. 
I left the group in 1981. I was there for 11 years. I left because uh, there wasn't any opportunity for anyone to grow as an individual. LTD kind of tried to control everything, which was a major mistake. You don't see that today. You see, well, groups like New Edition, they came along and learned from our mistakes and everybody had a springboard out of that group. Everybody had solo records and they still come back together. LTD wasn't going with that. You know, I was offered a solo album with a and Records and they flatly turned it down for me because I had signed some songwriters agreement. So I was tied to them by my own stupidity. The record company, before it was released, they were sold on this song. They was like, oh, this song's a hit. That song was written by Bruce Roberts, Andy Goldmark, and it was called You Should Be Mine. And I recorded it, I came home, and I'm playing it around the house, you know, and my daughter was three, Tiffany was three years old at the time. And she kept walking by singing Woo Woo, and she said, Dad, I love that Woo Woo song. I called the songwriter and I said, my daughter said, this is the Woo Woo song. And they said, well, maybe she's right. And that song just blew up. Even still today, I go out and people sing, they love it. You should be mine. Anything you want. You got your boy by my love. Your boy by me. The 70s was, was unbelievable. A lot of big bands out in the 70s. You had the Commodores, you know, you had LTD, you had all these bands, Earth, Wind and Fire. It's amazing how our generation of people know the lyrics to every song. Nothing like those songs, they were real songs. They had verses, they had bridges, they had hooks. I think everything evolves and uh, I don't know if it'll come back around to the 70s. I keep thinking, oh man, we're going to get back to that good old R&B, but I don't think it's going to come back around. We had our era.